Botanically speaking, it's called a fruit. In the culinary world, we call it a vegetable. But here in the Ag Building at the Iowa State Fair, the only thing that matters is how it tastes. I'm here at the Best Tasting Tomato Contest at the Iowa State Fair with Rhonda Magnuson, the superintendent of Ag and Hort here at the fair. Rhonda, how many entries do we have this year? We have over 40 so far, and it's not quite closed. We start judging at 10, so then it'll be closed. But uh, a lot of entries. Be a record year, I think. It's a good year for tomatoes, apparently. Oh, it is. Good year for tomatoes. <laughs> so how does this contest work? We have three judges, they taste them and decide what they think is best. And they're all slicers, no patios or that type of thing. Slicing tomatoes and uh, it's just judged on taste. Every year since I've been married, I've uh, planted a garden and my wife says they're good, so here we are. So what do you think makes a tasty tomato? Uh, something that's good on a sandwich. <laughs> Italian heirloom we, we got today from, uh, bought the seeds at Seed Savers. What do you think makes a really good tasting tomato? I mean, I like ones that have a little acidy bite to them. I, I don't like a bland tomato, so black creme is my favorite, but I figured there'd be 20 entries of that, and there weren't this year. Do you have any secrets that you want to share with us about how you get a good tasting tomato? Well, starting them out with uh, t a tablespoon of granulated sugar in the planting hole and allow them uh, plenty of water to start out, plenty of sunshine, and just leave them be. Okay? <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, it's a good technique, I think, so. We'll see. <laughs> What we're looking for is a tomato that tastes like we think a garden tomato should taste in Iowa. How do you go about this? I mean, you, you, how do they not all taste the same? <laughs> well, they don't. Um, because if I were to hand you one of the tomatoes from my garden and then one that came from a grocery store that was grown somewhere else, you could tell the difference. Yeah. Most people can. I want umami. I want a little bit of sweet. I want some acid. I think there should be some, because that's what makes it interesting in the end. So we're dividing it up into flights, who each have a flight. We'll pick our top three, and then we all taste the top nine, and that's how we choose. I am a tomato fanatic. Um, I am trusting my gut. I'm looking for that really nice balance and that very, that homegrown flavor that we recognize right away. So what are you doing here to narrow this down? I'm having trouble now. I'm down to my best four, and i got to eliminate one of them, and that's what I'm going to do next. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you, Aaron. Sorry. In second place, Susan Pisarek. Yay, Susan. Susan won second place with a black brandy one. Wave your, wave your hand there. It's a team effort. I am a tomato a taster. Uh, but my husband here, I'm married to a master gardener of tomatoes. So I'm, I'm a very lucky woman. <laughs> what would you say is some of your secrets? Composted manure. <laughs> so your sister won third place, but you won first. Are there any bragging rights that are associated with that? There are definitely bragging rights. We used to show lots of vegetables together and we would go back and forth. So this is nothing new and I can't wait to take this home and share the news with her.